Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix an error that is fail to initialize Vulkan or if you are receiving this error that is launch error, fail to start the game or if you are receiving easy anti-cheat error while launching knockout city game on your computer. Now the first step to fix this is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. To do a clean installation, if you have Nvidia card, go to Nvidia website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. So copy this link, the link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser, select your graphic card from the list and then click on search. And then once you click on search, you will see the download option. Click on download and once the download is complete, run the exe file. And here you can see agree and continue. So click on it, then select the option which says custom and then click on next. And then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation, then click on next. And after the installation, restart your computer and then try to launch the game. The next step is to roll back graphics driver to older version. So for many users, rolling back to 461.92 has worked. So if you have Nvidia card, you can roll back to this version. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser and select your graphic card from the list, then click on search. And over here you can see 461.92 version. So you can go ahead and click on it and then click on download and after the download go for clean installation and then restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Now in case if you have AMD graphic card you can roll back to version 21.5.2 so this has worked for many users so it might work for you. The next step is for laptop users with dual graphic card so if your computer has a dual graphic card so in that case make sure that you are running the game on the dedicated graphic card. So for this, you can go ahead and type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings. Then click on browse and go to the game installation folder. So if you bought the game from origin and if you have installed the game in C drive, you can open program files x86, then open origin games folder and then open the knockout city game folder and go ahead and select the game exe file and then click on add and once the game is added over here in my case the game is still downloading so once uh, you add the game exe file over here click on add and then click on the game and then click on options and then click on high performance and then click on save and then try to launch the game also you can try to disable intel graphics so if your laptop has a dual graphic card so you can open device manager and expand display adapter and in my case okay so if your laptop has a dual graphic card like this you can go ahead and disable your intel graphic card so make a right click on intel and then click on disable, disable device then click on yes and after that try to launch the game the next step is to update windows 10 to the latest version so go to the start menu then click on settings click on update and security and then click on check for update and once the update is installed we restart a computer and then try to launch the game. The next step is to repair easy anti-cheat. So for this, you can go ahead and go to the game installation folder again. So go to this PC for origin user, open the origin games folder, program files x86 origin games and then open the game folder and then open easy anti-cheat folder. And over here you will find the exe file. In my case, the game is still downloading. So make a right click on easy anti-cheat setup and then click on run as administrator and make sure that you select your game, uh, game from here. So click on drop down and select knockout city game. And once you select the game, click on repair service and then try to launch the game. Now still you are facing the problem. In that case, you can open the easy anti-cheat once again. And then this time you can click on uninstall and then run it once again and then click on install and after the installation you can try to launch the game. The next step is to verify the game files. So if you bought it from origin, go to origin, go to my game library, then make a right click and then click on repair option. So in my case it's still downloading. So repair option is not there. You will find the repair option. You can repair the game from here or if you bought the game from Steam, then make a right click on the game and then select on properties, make a right click, select properties, go to local files tab, then click on verify integrity of game files and then try to launch the game now in case if nothing is working in that case you can go ahead and allow the game exe file to uh, to your antivirus program 
So if you have any third party antivirus installed in your computer, you can go ahead and allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. And if you're using Windows security, allow the game exe file to Windows security. For this, go to the start menu, then click on settings, then click on update and security, and then click on Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. Click on scroll down and click on manage ransomware protection and then click on allow an app through control folder access and then add an allowed app click on it then click on browse all apps go to the game installation folder if you bought it from steam you can go to steam folder steam apps common open the game folder and then select the game exe file and once it is added you can go ahead and try to launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so go ahead and uninstall the game and after the uh, uninstallation go ahead and delete all the game folder the save folder you will lose the game progress so after the uninstallation restart you can be uh, re restart your computer and then reinstall the game so one of the steps should definitely help you to fix these error messages so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel